Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. The other homicide case, a female victim in her late teens killed in a shootout. That scene here at Hudson Avenue and Holland Street around 3 a.m. Police say when this happened, there was a large crowd gathered in the parking lot of the Anthony Jordan Health Center when the two groups started shooting at each other. The victim killed was just sitting in a car. She was caught in the crossfire. Just about an hour later, police were called to the scene of another shooting. This one happening in the parking lot of the Anthony Jordan Health Center on Holland Street right around 3 o'clock this morning. Police say a large group gathered there began shooting at one another and a teenage girl sitting in a vehicle was caught in that crossfire. She was rushed to RGH where she died from her injuries. No arrests have been announced in either shooting. Police are asking anyone with information to call 911 or Crime Stoppers. That number on your screen, 423-9300. innocent victim caught in the crossfire. It happened on Holland Street over the weekend. Tonight, Major Crimes is still trying to find her killer. News 10 NBC's Marsha Augustin sat down with her parents and spoke to RPD about the investigation. Marsha? Brett, this is one of the saddest, most tragic stories I have covered. When I walked inside the home to speak with her parents, my heart was crushed. The pain that they are in is so gut-wrenching, they couldn't go on with the interview. I feel like it wasn't fair, it was senseless, it wasn't called for. Shania's mom and dad, Grace Harris and Stuart Mutri, are devastated. The pain of losing their daughter is unbearable. They never imagined this happening to their family. Shania was fun to be around. She liked to have fun, you know, she can sing. We got her on video singing oh. karaoke. Now her parents are grieving. Shanai was shot and killed Monday morning. Today the Mutri family is just struck with grief. Tomorrow it could be your family, it could be my family, it could be anybody's sister or daughter that gets caught in the crossfire. Police believe Shanai and her friends attended a couple of parties. At the first party there was a shooting. No one got hurt. About 50 to 75 people ended up at a parking lot on Holland Street. Her dad says Shania didn't want to be there and told friends she would wait in the car. Everything dictates she had absolutely nothing to do with whatever altercation uh, these two individuals shooting at each other had. Shania was a twin college student and was working. The family just got back from a trip to the Bahamas. Her heartbroken parents now looking for answers. She wasn't one of them kids. Yeah, she... She wasn't one of them. I don't think we could do this. No, I can't. Okay. RPD says they are making progress with the investigation and they're hoping more people come forward. Captain Umbrino is a father. I asked him what his message is to Shanae Mutri's parents. 
You can hear what mess you can hear that message and my full interview with him at WHEC.com. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.